often in classes in which there is a graduate ITA, there exist many communication differences between the graduate ITA and the native English speaking students. In this particular example, our graduate ITA is from South Korea. The Korean language lacks many features which the English language has, including the sounds F, V, Z, and TH. The Korean language also has a sound which falls somewhere between the English R and L. In the vodcast you are about to see, the native English speaking students are unaware of the phonological differences between Korean and English and often criticize the graduate ITA. Good morning, class. Our post exam is coming up soon, and we have already discussed the meaning of our vocabulary words. Please write down the following words because they are the ones you'll see on your exam. Sawal, shito pasham. What did she say? Wibosham. I can't understand her at all. Maito tandria. This is so ridiculous. Gogi bodis. Should we ask her to repeat the words? How are we supposed to learn when she's teaching like this? Photosynthesis. <laughs> the student's behavior is natural, but could be better. The teacher is trying to communicate in English, but her students have no mercy. What could she have done differently to avoid confusion in the class and also avoid her loss of confidence? On the first day of classes, while introducing herself, she should have mentioned her country of origin, her weak points of English, and open up to the students by letting them ask questions whenever they could not understand her. She would have created a partnership with students instead of becoming a target for malicious comments about her communication skills. She could have done it graciously and it would have created a friendly and positive environment in the class instead of a hostile one. Secondly, to avoid the lack of understanding, she should have created visuals, handouts, and whenever possible, PowerPoint presentations. This way, the students would have been able to refer to pictures and or written materials and that would illustrate words that she might mispronounce. Finally, the teacher should be in communication with the class. The role of the teacher in her country of origin is more of a provider of knowledge and there is probably a huge distance between the teacher and students. Here, we have a closer relationship to the students and teamwork and participation are emphasized. International teachers should be aware of such differences and try to create a more interactive environment in the class, which would ultimately provide better communication with students. Right now, let's take another look at the scene which you just saw, but with some slight modifications. Good morning, class. Our first exam is coming up soon, and we have already discussed the meaning of our vocabulary words. And here is a handout of the word words that will appear on your exam. And, uh, and also I have posted these words on Blackboard. And uh, as I read out loud, please follow along on your handout. One, cell wall. Two, shitopasm. Three, ribosome. Four, mitochondria. Five, gogi bodies. Six, baculus. Seven, photosynthesis. As you know, I have some problems with my sounds. Do you have any questions? Could I come to your office hours later to talk to you about these? Of course. When are your office hours again? My office hours are from Thursdays and Fridays from 2 to 4. That was a great modeling of good communication between international instructor and her students. If any words were unclear to the students, the handouts given in class and posted on Blackboard would give the students enough scaffolding to understand the content of the class.